My beautiful friends, it's Amanda here, and today we're talking about my May favorites. Typically, my favorites are a mix of new things that I've been trying out and rediscovered favorites, but I just sat down with my favorites, and I think all of these are new products this month. Rarely does that happen, but I just tried a lot of great new things. Maybe one or two of these things have been around for a while, but in general, it was a really good month for me to try new products. I do have one favorite that is in no way a beauty product, but I really, really wanted to share it because I think this is so cool. I actually found this product because I was looking for my white elephant gift for the creators and friends trip that I recently went on. I got the idea to do some affirmation cards and a journal. I thought that that was just a really good gift that anybody could really benefit from and anybody could like. So I started searching for those items on Etsy because I really wanted to support some small businesses. I found these beautiful handmade journals. When I bought the one for the white elephant gift, I bought myself one as well. I love everything about this. Obviously, it's beautiful. The artwork is beautiful. This is the perfect size for me. I like something that I can actually put in my bag. I don't want a really big, cumbersome notebook. And I also like that this is a flexible cover. It just feels very comfortable. It feels good. It's a good size. It's a good weight. It's unlined pages, which typically I prefer lined pages, but this is so cool that it doesn't even bother me one bit. I'm gonna put the Etsy shop name on the screen here and obviously I'll also link it in the description. They had a lot of cool designs. I just was very drawn to this moon artwork and this is the same one that I got for the white elephant gift as well. And Heather Austin ended up with it. So Heather and I are now notebook twins. Now let's talk about my favorite fragrance of the past month. It's actually a fragrance combo, and I really like both of these separately as well, but mixing them together has given me just such an interesting, complex scent. First is this Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato fragrance. This smells so good. This on its own for daytime has been my go-to, but if I want something a little bit more complex, and especially at nighttime, I've been layering it with this Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. I also really like this by itself, but this combo is just so interesting. I'm typically not a big sweet scent gal, so adding something a little bit more herbaceous really works for me personally, but these are both great on their own as well. It's just kind of an unexpected combo that I've really, really enjoyed. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have already used so much of this and I haven't really had it for that long. This is actually newer to my collection, but I went through at least two of the little sample sprayers before I actually purchased a larger size. I'm a fragrance influencer now. No, I'm not. I'm so bad at describing scents. I have no idea how they do it. They have a wealth of knowledge that I do not understand. I just know what I like, and I like this. Before we move on to actual makeup stuff, I have a sunscreen that I have been so hooked on. I just got it this month. It's from the Inky List. This is the Polyglumatic Acid Dewy Sunscreen. Let's just call it the Dewy Sunscreen. This is an SPF 30. This is more than half gone already. I love this. I am an avid SPF wearer, very avid. I annoy everybody in my life about applying and reapplying their SPF all the time, especially now in the summer. We're outside, it's nice weather, but even if I'm just gonna be in the car, I wear SPF. And I absolutely love this. I saw this getting some hype online on Instagram and TikTok, and it is well-deserved. First of all, this doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't break me out, which I have had some more sensitive skin over the past couple of months. My eyes never burn when I wear this, and it blends in so beautifully. 
that looks good with or without makeup on top. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous because when it comes out, it looks just like regular white sunscreen and I thought, oh no, here we go. It's gonna be the same old song and dance with it being too thick and having a white cast, all the other sunscreen issues. But this blends in so completely clear, so hydrating and dewy. It literally feels like a moisturizing primer. Did you see that? Like it didn't take any work to blend it into nothing. I love this sunscreen. I need to buy another one right now because I've already used up so much of this. I think that sunscreen is the single most important skincare item. I'm sure there's a dermatologist or somebody who's smarter than me that can dispute that, but it is always my top priority. It's the number one thing when people who are not in the beauty space, people ask me for skincare recommendations. I always say, above all else, wear an SPF. And this right now is the queen of my SPF ranking. I mean, any SPF is better than no SPF, but this is truly the best SPF I have used in a really, really long time. I just love it. I know I've been talking about it for too long, but anyway, the hype is real. And speaking of the hype being real, this is another really hyped up product that I, for the longest time, didn't use because I was not using sponges. But these are the very famous AOA Studio Super Soft Paw Paw Wonder Blender. These are so good. I know that people have been talking about these and even my friends who are also YouTubers and content creators have been singing the praises of these sponges for a really long time. I just never hopped on the hype train because I spent a long time not using sponges in my regular routine. I was just applying with my fingers or using a foundation brush or concealer brush. But I picked these up on a whim and let me tell you, here's proof. I have been using and loving these little sponges. Low key, how do these not put other similar sponge companies out of business? Because these are so inexpensive, they're so good, they're so soft. I think they might be better than other similar more expensive sponge brands if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Anyway, the hype was real twice in a row. Who knew? Apparently not me. I totally forgot I wanted to mention this. This is another completely non-makeup item, but I want to make sure that I talk about this because it has really been so amazing for me, so life-changing for me, and that is wearing an insert name here, ponytail extension. I am the worst at doing my hair. I don't know how to do it. I'm not good at doing it. I don't like doing it. Anytime I have an actual event, it's always the thing that stresses me out. I have clothes I like. I have shoes I like. I have cute bags. I have cute accessories. I make my own jewelry. I have a makeup channel. Everything else is covered, but I never know what to do with my hair. I always feel completely out of my depth. I always feel like it ends up looking super mediocre. I got this awesome ponytail extension. This is the Ombre Jordan from Insert Name here. I wore it twice on my four day trip. I felt pulled together. I felt like my hair looked cool for the first time in my life. People were complimenting me. It was so easy. There's a little bit of a learning curve, learning how to actually like put it into your hair. This has been a total game changer for me. I have always been so stressed about doing my hair. And now that I have opened up this world of ponytail extensions, I feel like a new person. These are kind of pricey. I've never tried a cheaper one, so I don't really know if the price tag is worth it. But I can say, as somebody who is totally inexperienced at doing hair, totally hates doing their hair, always hates how their hair looks, I love, 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 love wearing this ponytail. So if you can relate to that, I definitely recommend something like this, even if it's not this exact one, even if you don't wanna go for like the colorful hair, I get it, but oh man, so fun to wear, felt cool and awesome, and I never feel cool and awesome about my hair. I love it. Okay, now let's go back to the makeup. I feel like everything is either a drugstore or indie brand. I don't have any high-end makeup this time. I mean, I guess indies have high-end price tag. What is, what is M Cosmetics? Does that count as indie high-end? I don't know. Anyway, 
this Daydream Cushion SPF Cushion Tint. It really says Cushion twice in the name. I love this stuff. I've been wearing it constantly since my M Cosmetics haul. I feel like this looks and feels so great on my skin. It plays really well with my dewy sunscreen just to freshen up my skin, liven up, even out a little bit but it still has that really light, sheer coverage that feels like nothing. On any day that I'm not filming, this is the combo that I'm wearing with no concealer. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of powder on because this is pretty dewy combo, but I love the way that this makes me look and feel. It feels like my skin. It looks like my skin just a little bit better, and that's always what I'm going for, especially as somebody who does have drier skin, I do like that lightweight, comfy, dewy type of coverage. So this has been a real hit for me. And thank goodness, because it was pretty expensive. So I'm glad I love it. My other face favorite is from Essence. This is their Pure Nude Baked Blush in the shade Pretty Peach. This is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I'm wearing a little bronzer and highlighter as well. You've also seen me wearing this in a few other videos. If you know me, you know I love a casually sweaty cheek, so baked products are often a favorite for me. And this is just such a lovely, soft little flush. The price tag is right. I think this was only like $5.99, $4.99 in that range. I actually have the other colors in this release now. So let me know if you're interested in seeing a video about all the colors because this blush is so, so nice. This is performing with the likes of really high-end baked blushes that might be $30 plus. This is really good. This is really, really good. Let's talk about lips because everything I have left are lips and eyes. All of my lip products are drugstore products. This one from L'Oreal you will have seen in my L'Oreal Colorish lip swatch video that I posted not too long ago. This is my absolute favorite shade. It's called Nonchalant. It's a perfect brownish nude shade. This is going to be a favorite for a long time. I can see this carrying me all the way through into my favorite fall lip colors. And then what I'm wearing today, this is actually thanks to some of your recommendations. These are from the Ulta Beauty brand, Tinted Juice Infused Lip Oils. I have two shades here. I really, really like them both. I couldn't narrow it down. The one that I'm wearing today is this more brown base nude. What a shocker. This one's called Buff Babe. But I also really love this rosy pink shade called Tea Rose. I showed these in my Ulta haul try on video not too long ago, but I've actually been wearing these for a bit longer because I couldn't resist. These are so comfortable. They're perfectly tinted. They don't feel sticky like a gloss, but they don't instantly disappear like an oil. They're the perfect in between. I love both of these shades. They are pretty heavily scented. I mean, they do smell very juicy. So if you don't like scented lip products, these are probably not right for you. But I personally love fragranced makeup. Particularly, I love sweet smelling lip products. So these are really working for me. Okay, two more products left and they are both eye products. Another Ulta Beauty find. This is so incredible. This is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. I also purchased this from viewer recommendation and I have not put this down. I have completely forsaken my ColourPop Party Proof Primer, which was my go-to for well over a year, probably two years. This stuff is amazing. I love it. I believe this is around $12. I like this better than the Urban Decay Primer Potion, personally. Another instant favorite. And this is, this is just that girl for me now. My makeup looks great on top, blends easily on top, lasts for a long time. A little tiny bit goes a long way, as is the case with most eye primers, in my opinion. But this does do a great job of covering up some of the veins and discoloration on my lids that the Party Proof Primer did not. That one is a lot more translucent. This one is more kind of matching my skin tone. I like how thick this is too. This is like if MAC Painterly Paint Pot 
and the ColourPop Party Proof Primer had a baby, it would be this. And that truly says it all because those are my only primers you've probably ever seen me use on this channel. Lastly, my favorite eyeshadow palette for the month is this new one from Odin's Eye. Probably nobody's surprised. It's the Jewels and Gem palette. It has some beautiful cool tones, some purples, a ton of duochromes. I love their matte formula. These are all just interesting, beautiful, textural. I've now done two videos <laughs> with this palette, so I won't rave about it too much. The other one, the Stone and Rock palette, is pretty as well, but this is my jam. The shades, textures, oh, I just love it. I love everything about this. It's definitely my favorite palette of the month, and this works really well with Laura Story as well. Go check out my videos featuring these Divine Collection palettes if you want more information. I've already talked about it a lot, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but just know it is my favorite palette of the month. Now is the time when I want to hear what you enjoyed this month. Do we have any of the same favorites? Are you interested in checking out any of my favorites? Make sure you let me know everything you've been enjoying. It doesn't have to be beauty products. If you had a great Etsy find, a great fashion find, maybe the show that you're binging, the snack that you've been loving, anything and everything goes. I always love to hear what you're enjoying, what you're loving, what you're using. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <clears throat> Shooting myself out here. My eyeshadow is so sparkly and so glittery that I keep getting distracted by it. Smoky blue cool tones queen that I am. Who is she? I don't even know what I'm talking about. If I don't know, then you're not gonna know. So it's not going well for either of us. That's not even a thing. I don't even know what that is. Yum. Okay. Okay. These. <laughs> they. Huh? Ooh, mama. When I went on that trip, the only palettes I took were Flora Story, obviously, and then these two palettes that I built for myself. So one is my neutrals palette. And then the other one is my colorful palette. And I kind of chose these based on my outfits that I was going to be wearing. So really, I had Flora Story and these two palettes. I was all set. Let me know if you want to see a video about the palettes that I packed for my trip. This was it. This was literally my perfect eyeshadow wardrobe. I did end up using most of the shadows. If it had been a longer trip, because it was only four days, I could have easily used them all if it was like a week-long trip. But yeah, let me know if you're interested in seeing that, because I think that would be fun, and I really, really love the color stories that I created here. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Am I gonna be one of those water talk girlies now? I don't think I can take the heat. I don't think I can take the heat of water talk. Who knew? The controversy. I'm far too old and tired for controversy. I just want to look at my shiny things and eat my snacks and go to bed wearing comfortable pants. That's all, that's all I can muster up at this point. Hey, but we're doing all right. And you know what? You're doing great too. Even if you, like me, are exhausted by life, feel like you can't even bother with real pants, that's okay. We're all friends here, judgment-free zone. You know, we're doing our best. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. You're hanging in there. Sometimes that's all you can do. You're killing it. So I love your face and I will see you real soon. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.